Hey everyone, it's Courtney here, and today I will be reading Jenny B. Jones and her big fat mouth. And I would like to give a huge shout out to Chloe to to Chloe Tofono and Tofino and uh and my mom's friend Tori. Thank thank you for subscribing to my channel, and I hope you guys watch this channel like it's if you want to if you want to be noticed if you want to be noticed in this in my videos all you have to do is click is subscribe click the notification bell and comment down done when you're done so let's get started to reading we're nine kindergarten friends mrs judy b jones richie lasso that grace Mimi Jim, Rabbi William, Polly Allen, Puffer, Jamal Hall, Ricardo, Roger, Charlotte, and Lenny. My name is Judy B. Jones, except the B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice, I like B. That, and that's all. I go to kindergarten. My room is named Room Nine. There are lots and lots of rules in that place, like no, like no shouting, no running in the hall, no butting the other the other children in the stomach with your head. My teacher's name is Mrs. She has another name too, but but I just like Mrs. And that's all. Last week, Mrs. clapped her loud hands together. Then she made an announcement to us. Announcement is a school word for telling us something very important. Boys and girls, may I have your attention please? She said, today is going to be a special day in room nine. We're going to be talking about different careers you can have when you grow up. Yeah, only guess what I said. I never even heard of that dumb word, careers. Before, before, and so I won't even know what the heck we're talking about. Mrs. made a squinty eye at me. A career is a job, Junie B, she said. And please raise your hand before you speak. Then Mrs. talked some more about careers, and she said, and she said Monday was going to be called job day, and everybody in room nine would come to school dressed up like whatever kind of job they wanted to be. After that, room nine was very excited, except for not me, because I had a big problem, that's why. Yeah, only guess what I said? I don't know what what I want to be when I grow up. And so that means I can't come to school on Monday, and, that, and now I'll probably funk kindergarten. Hooray, shouted a mean boy named Jim. I made a fist at him. How'd you like a, a knuckle sandwich, you big fat gem? I shouted right back. Mrs. came over to my table. She bended down next to me. Please, Junie Bean, you simply must try to control yourself better in class. We talked about this before, remember? Yes, I said nicely, only I hate that dumb guy. Just then, my best friend Lucille, who sits next to me, stood up and fluffed her ruffly dress. I always control myself, don't I, teacher? She said. That's because my Nana taught me how to act like a little lady. And so Junie B. Jones, and so Junie B. Jones should act more like me. I made a growly face at her. I do act. I do act like a little lady, you dumb bunny, Lucille. And don't you say that again, or I'll knock you on your can. Mrs. did a frown at me. Just kidding, I said very quick. Except Mrs. kept on frowning, and then she gave me a punishment. Punishment is a school word for sitting at a big table all by herself, and everybody keeps on staring at you. It makes you feel like P.U. And that's how come I put my head down on the table. 
and I covered it up with my arms. Cause punishment take the friendly right out of you. And so at recess, I didn't speak to Lucille, and I didn't speak to my other best best friend named Grace either. I just sat down in the grass all by myself, and I watched the janitor paint the litter cans, and I played with the stick and ants, and that's all. I hate room nine, I said, very grumpily. Except for just then, I saw something very wonderful in the grass. Its name was Two Cherry Lifesavers. Hey, I love those guys, I said. Then I picked one up, and I blew off the germs, and I put it right in my, lap, my mouth. Wait, don't do that, I shouted, shouted a loud voice at me. Spit that out right now. I turned my head. It was a gen it was janitor. He was running at me. Speedy quick. His jiggly his jingly eyes were jangling all over the place. Spit that out right spit that out, I said, he yelled again. And so I spit the cherry lifesaver on the ground. Cause the guy was scaring me, that's why. Janitor bended down next to me. I didn't mean to frighten you, sis, he said, but I spotted a bunch of dirty candy in the grass. I was going to cl clean it up th when I finished painting. He looked at me, he looked serious at me. Don't you ever eat anything you find on the ground? Do you hear him? Not ever. I blew, but I blowed off the germs, I told him. The editor shook his head. You can't blow germs off, he said. Eating things that you find on the ground is very, very dangerous. Then, then the janitor, then the janitor picked up the dangerous candy. Now run along and play, he said. I did a big sigh. Yeah, only I can't, I said. Cause I shot off a, my big fat mouth in kindergarten. Then I got punishment. And now I hate my bestest friend, Lucille. Janitor smiled a little bit sad. Life is hard sometimes, isn't it? Sis, he said. I bobbed my head up and down, up and down. Yes. I said, life is P-U. Then the janitor patted my head and he walked away. And so guess what? Just like a janitor, and that's all. Okay, thank you everybody for watching. Thank, thank you for watching me read um, Junie B. Jones and her big fat mouth. Um, I hope you liked that video. And again, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the notification bell, and comment down done when you're done. And I'll see you in the next video, which is tomorrow for part two. Bye.